Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of September 12, 2011. Welcome to the site. The Ask Video Mail is your chance to get a question in character animation or performance answered in a video mail just like this one. But I need your questions if I'm going to answer them on a video mail. So send them to webmaster at KennyRoy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I hope will uh, help the most people. A um, lot, of, lot of crazy things going on. I know I teased you guys with a, a big announcement. Um, it was postponed and uh, put off, but um, there's going to be uh, some hopefully major changes uh, around the new year um, happening uh, here at KennyRoy.com and, and the studio as well. So um, just cross your fingers for me. Put up those positive vibes. I could definitely use them. I uh, hope everything um, goes well and works out. Um, also, don't forget the um, the uh, the store has all of the archive material. I got a couple emails recently, um, people wondering where all the material goes, and it's in the store. So uh, just click on the link, and it'll take you right to there. I know I'm a little late archiving the July materials, but um, they'll be up shortly in the next few days. Uh, at the latest, so uh, look out for that. Uh, besides that, I'm just having a great time I'm doing some cool projects at the studio and uh, just, just having fun, so uh, I hope you're having fun too. CTN is coming up. I'm definitely going to be at CTN this year. Um, I had a lot of fun last time. Uh, if you find me or um, anyone that is associated with KennyRoy.com, you ask them for a new promo code because there will be a promo code that you can get um, that adds uh, 30 free days to your subscription. So if you got a promo code already, this promo code, it'll be a special one that you get just at CTN and um, you'll get 30 days added even if you already are paying for the site. So it's kind of a cool little extra. So try to find me at CTN or uh, someone uh, working with me at CTN. I'm going to be promoting the site there. Uh, that is all for announcements. Uh, let's get to the question. It's a good one. Well, if, uh, let's put it this way. I'm going to listen to the 11 Second Club sound file for this month. And if I pick out more in 15 minutes than you picked out in a few hours, then that means that you aren't listening close enough and you, did, you stopped too soon. Um, now, particularly, I just want to point out one more time is that um, I'm normally looking for a, 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 a backstory that, that really hits the core of, of what the person is saying. And then, in terms of like animation and really like selling the animation, uh, it's finding those anchors. And anchors are little pauses, stutters, little nonverbal things. Like when you can just hear like in the voice or in the, in just like some, some little sound that you can grab onto and over animate the, 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 the body. Um, then, then it really just nails that animation to the sound file. People love seeing them. It makes it look great. So I'm always looking out for the anchors first. So let's, let's listen to the sound file together uh, just a few times. There is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown day. Never. It's not for me. There is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown thing. Never. It's not for me. Okay, awesome. Well, first thing I would say is that if you're trying to come up with a backstory, um, don't make it about football. Um, this guy is using a football analogy. Um, he's talking to somebody and, and telling them that the, the, you know, life doesn't have like this goal. You have to, you know, you have to take all the small victories. That's how, at least how I hear it. But it does have something to do with 
something greater than like a particular football game for sure. So I would not do it like on a football field and like it's a coach, you know, talking to somebody else. I mean, that's hitting it a little too, the, the nail too much on the head for me. Um, and then I heard at least three anchors. One of them was a, like it sounded like a hand slapping. Another one was the sound that I just made, just like a little tisk sound. And another was when he said ball, his voice really wavers. He goes ball. Um, and then um, another one is it does seem like he's moving or shuffling or getting up or walking away at the end of the um, line of dialogue. All right, so those are four movements that you really want to over animate so that it, like it nails your, your, your animation to that dialogue, to that sound. Um, and, it, and it makes it feel great. So um, let's, um, the first thing I like to do is I like to type out the line like this, and then I like to draw on it kind of like a, a, the, the feeling. Now, anyone who's had me an animation mentor knows I like to um, point out, um, you should check out Paul Lassane, Paul, L-A-S-A-I-N-E, Paul Lassane. He has a blog. If you go back in the archive of his blog, you'll notice that there is um, a lot of surfs up concept. One of the things he did was something um, called surf patterns. And it was just like what it looks like when the penguins um, leave a trail behind, like in the water. And you can totally tell the personality of those. So what I like to do is I kind of like to make like almost like a fake surf pattern on my dialogue. Um, in, um, let's see here, in, in Photoshop, right? So I just make it red and turn it to multiply so it doesn't block the text. And then as I'm listening, I kind of just like do little scribbles or whatever and, and really just like, just feel it out. So I'm gonna hit play on it and then we'll listen again and then you'll see what I do when I listen to the, to the line. There is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown dance. Never. It's not for me. Okay. And then again, um, put it on loop if you can. There is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown dance. Never. It's not for me. There is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown dance. Never. It's not for me. There is no answer. There's a big exhale right here. You never cross the goal line, okay. spike the ball, so, and do your touchdown So, what these are, what these little lines are, is like kind of like the energy. There is no end zone. I, it, it trails off here. You never, right here, actually, this is kind of like a, an anchor. This is such a hard never. I feel like a head shake right here, okay? Across the goal line, spike the ball. He is, is making the S shape on the end of line, and, he's, and I feel like he's like, like a, the splotch right here is almost like internal across the goal line, spike the ball. It, I love how it like brings it in. I really want to like bring it in right here. Spike the ball, see how I had like wiggle but trail off a lot. And do your touchdown dance. All the, you know, I, it, it, if this should probably be on the same line, touchdown dance, but it really trails off and falls right here. Never, another spike right here and then the, that little sound, it's not for me. And then another little kind of waver right here um, that represents that exhale, all right? Now there's another kind of cool thing that is, uh, was shown by Cameron Fielding. And maybe you've done this, maybe you haven't. But what he shows off is a method of basically recording your gesture using the F check tool of all things. And you can actually get kind of like a gestural feeling of your scene, okay? And why that's cool, well, he did it so that he could like time out and feel these like these quick actions. Well, you can get an animated version of this 
what I just did here in Photoshop. Now this is good, you print this out and just keep it with you or it's on another monitor or whatever. But what's cool about hit, uh, the Cameron Fielding method is that you can load that in a camera in Maya and, and, and always kind of have it for reference. All right, so the way you do that is you load in your audio and then um, play blast it. Now you have to play blast it very small, otherwise um, RAM becomes an issue. Um, I'm gonna try it at 0.25 of, of my uh, screen size and we'll, we'll see what happens. And then let it play there once. No because it plays it from disc you first. never cross the goal line, spike the ball and do your touchdown thing. Never. It's not for me. There is. Okay, and then hit play and use your right mouse button or your, your right switch on your Wacom if you're using one. And then you can draw in here and it records it. It records like two or three frames and it, it kind of leaves a trail. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of feel the, the, the energy um, move through this. And I'm, I'm, it's kind of like conducting. So uh, I'm going to do it once with my hands. And this looks stupid. I know I look like an idiot doing this. But like the person who looks the dumbest at their desk is going to have the dopest animation. So you've got to give up like these, the, these things, like these self-conscious ideas that like, you know, that keep you from doing your best work. So the first time I do it, I'm just gonna like feel the energy and, and, and kind of just like feel it out, all right? And I know it looks dumb, but I don't care. There is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball and do your touchdown thing. Never. It's not for me. Okay, so uh, I definitely felt that that one was like, uh, you, you know, it was much more staccato at the end. I felt like hitting those words. It's not for me. Um, very, very, very strong. I would have wanted to do a stronger shake on never. Um, you know, all these things. And, and, and while this is good to feel the energy and not be, not feel like you need to hit the words and, and act it out, uh, it's really advantageous to do this so that you can just get the energy, like the rises and falls. Too, many, too often what I see is people um, recording video reference and the thing that they are most worried about is like getting the, their lips right on. And then they take this pose and then the word comes in and they're you know, like doing crazy things with their face trying to get the, the words perfect. You know, you know what video reference would be so much, so much more advantageous for those people is if they didn't move their lips at all. Just listen to the line and do your performance and hit those energies, hit those highs and lows and those shakes, wobbles, staccatos, punches, falls, all those things. Um, and forget about the way your lips are moving. Then you'll get some really nice body mechanics and body language reference for, for your use. But let's, uh, let's try the F check trick um, so that maybe we can get this into our scene as well. So let's try it here. Here we go. There is no end. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown dance. Never. It's not for me. There is. All right, cool. So now what we have is basically a visual reference. You can save this animation, and it'll save your little mouse gestures into the animation. You save it to a folder on your computer and import it into Maya as a camera image plane or you can just watch it and you have this, this basically this really accurate gestural feeling of your line so let's watch it one more time and uh, and get that feeling again here we go there is no end zone you never cross the goal line spike the ball and do your touchdown dance. never it's not for me there is no end zone. You never cross the goal line, spike the ball, and do your touchdown dance. Never. It's not for me. And it has, it has all the parts, you know, that I need. Everything that I, I, I picked out there. Now, again, 
of course, is going to be the most important part of, of doing any dialogue shot is going to be really finding that backstory and 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 staging it well and really coming up with you know the the story and the character arc that you want to tell. But um, in this, this first part, analyzing the audio, you need to know where the rises and falls are in that in, in the character in the energy. You. You need to pick out those anchors, those little and and uh, exhales, all those tiny little things, those nonverbal things that you can really overanimate and make look great. Um, so uh, I just really, really like this piece of audio. It's obviously a very emotional scene, so I, I'm expecting to see a lot of work from people who have, you know, really pulled out every trick that they have in terms of that subtlety and the facial performance, all that stuff. It's really going to be great. Um, and I encourage everyone to try the 11 Second Club if you have a, you know, a solid workflow and you think you're going to be able to finish it. So uh, good luck with that. But definitely analyze your audio, taking a, an approach from the energy and really the body language and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, the rises and falls and those things that you can really hold on to uh, in your animation when you're planning your motions. Okay? Cool question. Uh, I loved it. Um, I, I really think that uh, that uh, you know this is this is going really well, and I'm I'm just still having a lot of fun. I know it sounds cheesy and corny, but I, I'm really appreciative of everyone who's at the site and supporting the site and and making it a great time. So uh, please send in more Ask Video Mail questions. I'd love to get them. The address to send those to is webmaster at kennyroy.com. I promise I read all of them. There's no such thing as a stupid question and I answer the ones I think will help the most people. Thanks a lot, good luck with your animation, and as always, rock on.